Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to Lotfimo's Designs for a new After Effects tutorial and today we'll be learning how to create a nice looking 3D world inside of Video Copilot's Element 3D using the Pro Shaders Pack number 2 and as you can see here we got some real nice details hang it up with this shadowing and these reflections on the metal background over here with the environment using Sangama and some exposure this is it let's take a look at the tutorial so this will be our sword vector as you can see it's divided into two parties which are the blade and the hilt okay so go back into after effects create a new composition let's name it 3d sword and then create a new solid let's name this one blade hit ok and then go back to adobe straight click, click on the blade and then command and c and then go back to After Effects, click on the blade solid, command and V to paste. Or let's just say copy and paste, let's just do it like this. Let's go to the hilt again, let's go to edit, copy, and then go back to After Effects, and create another solid, let's name it hilt, and then edit and paste. Okay, so this will be our two custom layers for element 3D. Let's unshow them and create another solid. Let's name it element 3D. Let's go to Effect, Video Copilot, and Element. Okay, now let's change the render mode to Preview. We go to Custom Layers, Custom Texts and Masks, Path Layer number 1, which will be the Blade, Path Layer number 2, which will be the Hill. And then unshow that and go to Scene Setup. Now let's create two extrusions. Set 2. Okay, let's unshow the grid from here. Let's uh, remove and use the materials. And then now let's rename the second one Hilt, the first one Blade. Let's change the second one to the custom path number two, which will be the Hilt. And as you can see, it's already extruded over here. Let's put it down onto here and let's see if the size is going good. And I think this is um, well. Okay, so let's unshow the Hilt and go to the Blade. We'll be playing with the extrusion a little bit, and then go to extrusion over here. Bevel scale 1, and then go open it up, go to bevel, and let's make the, uh, let's zoom in a little bit. Let's come to this sharp edge over here, and then let's go to the bevel. Okay, let's click on bevel backside and check it, and then go to bevel curve, let's put it to 0, bevel segments to 0 again. Bevel depth to 0.2 maybe, and then the extrude to 0.1. As you see here, it's really thin. And then let's go to the bevel size and put it up. Let's maybe make it 12. And as you can see here, we have already got this these uh, sharp edges, just like that. Now what you want to do is um, zooming in and then putting down the extrusion to zero maybe uh, 0 0.05 okay so cool um, now let's change the material so I've got a nice material over here let's just use for first let's just use the chrome one and then go to the bubble settings and drop the glossiness to maybe um, 50% okay let's, um, I think this is good just to begin with and then now let's go and show the health and then let's reposition it down just like that okay let's change the material to chrome now what you want to do uh, okay so I'm using these materials I'm not using the pro shaders too just for the sake of the tutorial I could use many um, cool shaders from the pro shaders 2 or pro shaders 1 but I'm going to use the ones already included in element 3d for the sake of the tutorial okay again let's go to the health let's go to the tessellation and put it into ultra and then for this spike filter let's um, drop it down to zero as you can see we got these nice spikes over here as you can see there are so many cool details and now what you want to do is putting it up just to hide this part over here of the blade just like that let's see uh, down and this is cool okay what you want to do is dropping the extrusion a little bit so let's go to extrusion and drop it to one 
and then go to the um, chrome uh, bevel inside of it and then go up check bevel backside bevel segments to 32 which is the maximum bevel segments um, number and then the bevel size let's a bit a little bit and then bevel depth a little bit up just like that to get this double bevel over here as you can see it looks real nice and what you can do also is playing with the expand edges but I don't, I don't think I will play with it for the moment and let's drop the extrusion just a little bit and I think we uh, got a nice health over here let's take a look at the results and this is cool okay so now we would need to create a grip and the pommel so let's go to create over here and drop the cylinder um, cylinder shape okay so let's put it down and let's adjust the size and everything else okay so let's go to the radius and put it into 0 0.05 and then go to the height and put it in 0.37 maybe and let's put it down and I think we got our grip over here but as you can see the only uh, thing over here is that it's it comes up um, on the hilt but you can adjust that by putting the radius down but that wouldn't help because the uh, grip would be so small but that isn't a problem because we don't need that much detail on the grip okay we can give it any um, I don't know uh, any material let's choose a black one let's take this plastic mat from the physical shaders already included in element 3d and they think it looks nice anyway now let's create the pommel let's go to the cone model and then um, put it down okay let's put it down over here and let's adjust the height so let's put this one real low put this one also real low Maybe let's put it into 0 0.05 also then let's take it down just like that now let's take the rotation tool and rotate it flat just hold shift and rotate and that's it. okay now move tool again and put it down just like that let's zoom in to adjust it better just like this and let's put it over here now we need the material for it so let's take the gold one and put it into it you can also use a chrome which would look much better so let's leave it just the way it is now let's take and create a new group let's name it sword and drop all these things into it sword okay what you want to do now i really want to change the materials for the blade and the hilt so let's go to the blade and let's go to the pro shaders 2 metal shaders and then go down until i find i don't know i don't really remember which one i used but i think it's this one yeah it's this one it looks really nice as you can see we got some nice details with it and you can use another one from for the for the uh, health as you can see this one looks good also Or you can also use this kind of black one, but I think I think I'll just put the this one instead, and we got our material set. Okay, now we need to create the background for our animation. So let's create a plane model. And then let's go to the rotation tool and rotate plot again. Hold Shift, let's take the move tool and move it slightly back, something like that. Then go to the um, plane and change to maybe 40 40 I think it's cool and then go back to the physical materials drop the metal diffused one and as you can see here let's just put it out of the sword group because it's going to be our back ground and then you can go to the uh, bevel bevel over here and then change the glossiness to 72 maybe and then you can choose the background 
there and change the reflect mode to mirror surface and then choose the sword group and change the reflect mode to spherical. That's going to change many things but the main thing we're going to change is the environment. So let's go to the V1 environment pack. I think it's downloaded with the um, downloaded with the pro shaders one pack number one and let's now rotate the sword group this way just hold shift again then move tool again and let's move around and let's take a look at the results okay so I think the main thing in this tutorial is creating the gold lines which were over here in the first beginning of the video so let's create them let's go again to the blade go to bevel copies and make them two now let's open it up and go to the bevel copy number two go to the bevel outline enable it check over here and then you can go ahead and zoom in as you can see it's extrude kind of it's uh kind of it's uh, above the first one so let's go to the z offset in the bevel uh, parameters and then drop the z offset kind of like this and then go to the um, again to the bevel outline and I put the inside bevel to zero and the outside bevel to maybe um, maybe this one as much would be good I think let's just leave it just the way it is and then go to Z offset again and put it just kind of touching it and then now what you want to do is go into the materials physical and dropping the gold one into it now we got our gold lines set up as you can see in the first beginning of the video I had another line in the center so I'm going to put it again so let's create another solid and let's name it, I don't know, line and then take the marquee tool, rectangle tool hit here, hold um, CMD and draw a real uh, thin and long line kind of like this and then let's put it under beneath the element 3D and unshow it and then go back to element 3D over here, custom layers and put it in the number part line number 3 which will be line Okay, let's go back to scene setup again. Let's create an extrusion and let's name it line. Let's change the custom path to custom path number three and then go to the transform and scale it down until it fits real good. And then let's put it over here. Got some nice details over here. Just put it like this, then put it back in the Z position. Again, put it back so it goes beneath this one, under it, and then again give it the golden um, bevel. Now all we need to do is creating a new camera. Let's, um, as you can see here, we made it 28 millimeters. So now that I got my camera into a good angle, I think I need to enable the ambient occlusion. So let's check enable AO and put the SSO intensity intensity to seven. This will give us some nice, really cool details over here, going in flow with the um, with the reflection, as you can see. So what you can do to make the reflection more visible, we go to the um, um, physical environment, gamma, let's put the exposure to 1.5, sorry it was 1.5, 1. 1. and then the gamma to 1.4, and this will give us this nice look as you can see, we can always rotate the environment a bit, alright I think this angle looks good it shows the golden lines glowing up and everything 
and the reflection but the formal is kind of not showing up so this is guys this was today's tutorial on how to create a 3d sword on element 3d we learned so much on this tutorial there were so many techniques to get these sharp edges adding these glowing golden lines and this is it guys thanks for watching and peace out